Are we rolling yet? Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. All righty. Hi, my name is Hadrian, and I love Dart Zone because in 2020, they completely revolutionized the entirety of foam flinging. And that is why Dart Zone is a perfect company and why I think that everything that they make is beyond anything that these other terrible companies like Nerf and Zuru and whatever else, they're, they're just irrelevant. These are the blasters to use. So with all that said, I'm going to go over my loadout so that you guys know who's the best of the bunch in every game that I show up to and how to be the best in the bunch at your game if for some reason I am unable to attend. So my primary here is obviously the Dart Zone Pro Mark 1.2. This is the best Springer I have ever seen in my entire life. What's this about a caliber? I don't know what that is. It doesn't matter. This blaster is unbelievably perfect. And the reason for that is because it just does so many things well. It's got these big, comfortable rubberized grips that are just absolutely stable. They're super wonderful, and I really like them a lot. Oh, no, what is going on? Ah, crap, the, the rubber's misaligned. Hang on, let me let me fix it. Just give me one second, give me one second. Ignore this, ignore this. I'm just doing a little bit of in on-scene maintenance. There we go. That was a malfunction. What do you mean? What do you mean that was a malfunction? This improves the blaster experience, you donut! Yeah, this is, this is something that you want. This is a sign of quality. When you're able to show off the blaster experience mid-presentation, that's a sign of quality. And if you don't understand that, Get out. This is my building. What do you mean this is your building? I don't care. This is my building now. This is my show. You invited me on here. Shut up. Either way, let's continue along with the loadout. The Mark 2.1 is a super comfortable, super stable blaster that has not had any issues whatsoever. Can you explain the Foam Pro Tour then? What are you talking about, Foam Pro Tour? That didn't happen. We're going to ignore that. All right, they've moved on. They made a mistake. They're only human. They make mistakes. Learn from it. Get a grip. Ugh, people. Hasbro fanboys, can you believe them? They're so aggressive. I don't even know what, why I'm even bothering with this. Because some people think that anything is better than a Dart Zone product. Unbelievable. Regardless, yeah, this blaster is great. And if I want to switch to full lengths, I can easily just... I can easily just take the black magazine out and put the... Where's the mag adapter? Where's the mag adapter? Oh, there it is. Uh, oh, no, the blaster prime. Um, uh, 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 hang, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. There we go. I can very easily and very, very swiftly. There we go. There we go. Switch to half lengths. There, I put a mag in. Just, just ignore that. Just ignore that. That didn't happen. That was a demonstration. That was supposed to happen. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I, I'm just gonna very carefully put this, put this back on the wall. It, it, does, it doesn't want to fit. Uh, I'm just gonna put it back. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just ignore all that. Ignore all that. Let's continue on with the loadout. My secondary, if I for some reason run out of darts, is the Maxim Pro. I said my secondary is the Maxim. My secondary is the Max. My secondary is the Maxim Pro. And the, the reason why I'm using the Maxim Pro is because it's a Strife X killer. Duh! Everything about this is so much better than the Strife X. It's cheaper and it's see through and they, it has mod potential. If the battery tray comes out, even though it only has an XT30 instead of an XT60, but we're gonna ignore that because it doesn't matter. It's completely irrelevant. It has nothing to do with the conversation. What happened to the rev trigger? What are you talking about, the rev trigger? The rev trigger is perfect. You kept accidentally revving it. No, I was not accidentally revving the blaster! Um, yes, you were. That didn't happen. We're going to ignore it. We're going to ignore it, all right? So it has the safety in the most convenient spot ever. And when it's unsafety, it's when it's unsafety! You do not accidentally rev the blaster. It doesn't matter. We're just going to ignore that. It's a tiny detail. Tiny details. But regardless, I love this blaster because of how efficient it is. So we take an officially licensed Dart Zone mag and we... 
that, there we go. Okay, we, we put that in, and then we've got semi-auto. We've got semi, stupid glasses. We've, we've got semi-auto rapid fire blasting with double A's. The Strife X came with a lipo. What do you mean the Strife X comes with a lipo? That's tiny details. This blaster costs $40. That makes it so much better. I love this blaster. I, it's perfect. It's perfect. It's perfect, okay? Just just admit that it's perfect. It doesn't really matter. As you can see, my iPro here is officially licensed Dart Zone Pro. I... <sighs> just ignore that. Just ignore that. It's, it's this is this is good eye protection. Dart Zone supplied this themselves, and it didn't hurt my nose. And it's it's really nice eye pro. It, this is the best that they've ever done. It, these don't fog up ever. They never have it. It didn't take them four years to put slats in the top so that you can know that they don't fog up. That didn't happen. It was a tiny details. Oh, my nose hurts. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And as you can see, my loadout comes equipped with a bunch of Dart Zone mags, which are all slightly different sizes and don't really fit together that well. But again, those are tiny details. They're completely irrelevant. It doesn't matter that these three mags are so much wider than all the others and they completely fill up the pouch when I could have put four Talon mags in there. These mags are obviously better anyways because they have this weird little ridge on them that doesn't need to be there. Obviously, these are better. But regardless, I got one more trick up my sleeve. In case both of those perfect blasters and that perfect rig somehow manages to fail, I got one more trick up my sleeve. Right here is the Dart Zone Outlaw. I couldn't figure out how to print Dart Zone's holster that it didn't come with, but they did include the print files, but I, I, my printer couldn't print it because it, it didn't work. So luckily this blaster very easily fits into a pocket. And this blaster right here is probably the best out of all of them. It's a hammer action, easily pop out, cylinder swappable revolver. I mean, it's perfect. Why wouldn't you want something like this? There we go. And it's, it's super flippable. It's comfortable. It looks good. It feels good in the hand. And it's easy to prime. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's very... Very easy to prime. You get the point. There is no seal there. I shouldn't have done that, but yeah, this is a super easy hammer prime with a hammer that goes straight down and it, it has a return to it. That actually makes it worse though. That does not make it worse, you donut. You donut, you bagel. You don't know what you're talking about. Why would I mod a hammer shot? I could just buy this. It's already modded. See, that's why Dart Zone is better. They do everything for you. You don't have to do anything yourself. You can just go down to Walmart and buy this. That's a Target exclusive. This one's a Target exclusive? Yep. Okay. You just go down to Target and you can buy this and it just works. There's nothing wrong with it. I don't know what the hell's the matter with you guys. Why would I ever want to mod a Strife when I can just go down to Walmart and, and pick this one up that is so much, that is so much better in every way and doesn't constantly, accidentally rev all the time, no matter what you do. There we go. This one's obviously a better value. This one's so much better. Just buy this. You people suck. If you say anything good about Nerf Blasters, I will come for you. I will come and bombard your comment section. I will get up in your face and I will aim this at you, whether you're wearing iPro or not. I want to do this. I'm gonna act like this. You understand what I'm saying here? I am the tactical guru. I know what I'm doing. My blaster's got Picatinny rails on it, you donut. What does your blaster have on it? And it's my tactical rails. You can't put red dot sights on this. I can't afford a red dot sight because Dart Zone ships out so many mediocre blasters every year that I buy $500 worth of blasters every single year. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know. Hadrian out. Yeah, I'm cool. I kept my cool. Learn how to keep your cool, and maybe you'll be as good at nerfing as I am. Foam flinging. We don't say nerfing around here.